Okay, so welcome back to another Football Manager video. Now, I had Tizard on last time and he helped me out with a couple of games. I'll show you how we did if I go on the schedule. But today, I'm joined with Mikey, who's a little bit of a Football Manager expert. Am I right in saying that, Mikey, or is that a I, bit... I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't say expert, but uh, <laughs> okay. definitely talking about um, it a little bit. Well, you can see here how we did with Tizard. We're all on... We're winning so far. Um, how did we do? So, I think we played the Leicester game, which was 3-1, and we played the 2-0 versus Southend. We missed the two games in the middle. But today, we've got a couple of good games. Now, I don't know... Do you want to do Crystal Palace? I was thinking we can leave the League Cup out and we can do Stoke. What do you reckon? We'll do yeah, Crystal Palace and Stoke. Good. Okay, so it's game day now and you can see there both teams are on excellent form there. We've won, what is it, uh, six, out of, 6 out of 6, Crystal Palace on 5 out of 6. So it's a you know a, a top half team clash really. It's going to be a really important one. So if we go to the, uh, the team sheet, this is what we're working with. Now is there any changes you want to make? As my assistant manager, Mikey, you have free reign. You can do what you like. If there's anything that jumps out of you, if you want to make any... Any changes? It's it's up to you, man. Is there anything that you um, you see? I mean, if if we've won four in a row, I don't yeah. think we need any more changes. Like, no, just okay. keep it the same. Way okay, it is. no problem. Keep so, it ticking over. just go for this one, yeah. And um, to be fair, because it's uh, the the championship, there's a lot of games. There's midweek ones as well. So, maybe early substitutions. If there's anyone that you can see that's uh, jumping out at you that you want to refresh it up, then uh, yeah, just give us a shout and we can have a look. Is there any names you recognise here in the Palace side? Um, I can't see any there that jump out at me. Oh, I tell you what, who's yeah, number twenty? I'll pull him up. I, I, Danny Butterfield. I, Look at that. Danny Butterfield. Twenty-six yes. years old. I might scout him. I, oh no, they haven't signed Fonte yet. I'm no, they Fonte's haven't. Still in the academy, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, there yeah, we go. Danny Butterfield. He's on they, the bench. They might too. have. No, no, they don't have Victor Moses. No. Okay. That's the only one that I can I can really recognise. But if we go. We'll do a quick team talk and then we'll get started for the game. Okay, so the team's walking out and the game's kicking off now then. So, yeah, this I think this is the, the biggest test. I know Tiz said that um, Leicester was a test, as we've already got thrown here, but I think Crystal Palace, considering their form they're on, I think they're our first real test to see how good this form is. As Sermon just walks through a player, Raziak goes past yeah, the post. <laughs> <laughs> As, uh, it's kind of peeking around a bit, but uh, Crystal Palace pick up the ball. Borrowdale puts it inside. It looks like Sermon's going to collect. Scatchel picks it up on in the middle, kind of coming inside from that left-hand side. Sermon finds it back out wide to Dyer. He's kind of going down line, puts the ball in, finds back post, doesn't make it. Making puts it back inside to Sermon. Holding a bit of possession. I'm quite happy with this. We find it back out wide. Is he going to get the ball into the box? He doesn't. It looks like Dyer collects it back, though. He puts it back to Chris Beard. Uh, Idikiez gets the ball. I was struggling with some of the pronunciations last last episode. It wasn't good. So <laughs> so and collects. We look like we're holding possession, which is quite well. I know this is something that you know we both like to do. This ball comes in. Looks like Wright Phillips grabs the goal there. Sliding challenge in here. Ends, ends up making it one nil. So brilliant start, really. Seven minutes in, and we're already off to a good start. I'm I'm happy with that to be honest. I, I should have mentioned as well. This style is quite a, a pressing style. I know it's a, a, a vertical tiki tacker, but we still. Still rely on that counter press to try and win back the ball, so that is how yeah. we try and um, try and make the most out of the opportunity, especially in the championship as well. The quality is not as great, so it means if you can try and force those. As Dyer picks up the ball near shot blocked by the Crystal Palace defender, there Kennedy brings the ball away. But yeah, like I'm saying, that that pressing style really does help. It creates us opportunities as well as defending, so I really like that. Although looks like Palace do have ah, there we go in action there Sermon. Running with the ball here. Drops it, just holds for a moment. IDK is on the edge of the box. Shot is blocked. He has another one and he finds the back of the net. <laughs> Questionable goalkeeping there, I'm not going to lie. But, um, yeah. It is for only goal. I don't think it is. Wait, shall I have a look? I, uh, who is it? It's Jabor Karai? No, Am I? Yeah. It's not Spurring. It's not no. <laughs> Perfect start, really. And again, we have it. What a rise from Svensson. Gee. Uh, Skatchel picks up the ball. Drives into the middle here. Got a bit of time. Finds Dyer out on the right. Has a shot and it's 3 0. It's 3 0, Mikey. I'm, I don't know what I've done, but I've. Uh, I you, think I've hit the jackpot here. <laughs> I mean, that's, yeah. That's what happened. But the thing is, you look at some of these stats and Bale looks in. Uh, like, have you seen the stats for Bale on this save? Yes, like, I have seen It the is stats for Bale. ridiculous, isn't it? Like, he's very, very good, yeah. Considering he's 16 years old as well and he's got five star potential. Uh, if that's his stats for five star potential, it's kind of crazy. Palace inside here, shot just edge of the crossbar there, so close opportunity, but not too worrying at this point, I don't think. 
Adikia is playing really well at the moment. The uh, board are actually quite happy with how well Adikia is actually playing at the moment. Dyer dispossessed. Kennedy does bring the ball off of him. Watson picking up the ball now. Drops it to Fletcher. Long ball out wide, but Beard collects. It looks like Crystal Palace collects again. It's a kind of ping-ponging around a little bit at the moment. Ball over the top. Svensson beating shot. Davis makes the save. Looks like Wright Phillips is going to get on the end of this. Now, Wright Phillips's pace is deadly on this game. He gets dispossessed, but he is a real threat up front, so it can be, yeah, a real danger. Now, if you've got to say the boys... Well, the I, found, I, found, I found Raziak the main threat for me when I was using this data. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've got to say, keep the keep the way up. But Raziak, I think I've... Have I, is he on? I didn't, yeah, he's uh, he's up front. He's looking complacent. Now, this is something that Tizard was talking about, the fact that if a player's looking complacent, just a free kick for Palace that goes wide, if... If a player's looking complacent, Tizard is more likely to sub them off because he doesn't like that out of his players. Is that something you look for? Well, or if well, when shot. when they're looking complacent or like the D or something like that, if yeah. you go on to the call, if you're like more than two 0 up, if you praise them, you can do that. Or if you're losing, you tell them to get creative and then right. Yeah, yeah. Also okay. Well, should we give that a go then? Should we should we praise them as we're three 0 up? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Go with praise. Yeah, they're fired up on by the feedback. So yeah, as the ball does come in here, back post Scatchel, and he finds it. Look at that instant, instant reaction from the scout there. Instant the scout there off the show. The <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, there we go. Um, to be fair, I think we're playing all of you guys as well. It's making me a better player as a, for FM. So right, so it's seventy-five now. I want to try and get some subs on. So is there any players Dyer's that? Looking tired. Dyer's looking tired. Okay, we've got Proton or Viafara can come off the bench. Any names that are jumping out you there? Vifar is struggling no. a bit for match fitness, whereas Proton looks ready I mean, to go. Might, might, we've fallen you up, so you might as well give Vifar a couple of yeah. games then to get match fit. To get match fit. And is there anyone else jumping out at you that you think could possibly... I mean, the Raziak, even though he hasn't scored, he's, he's had a decent game. I mean, everyone's looking all right at the moment. Do you want to just keep it as it's going well? Do you want to just keep it as you it is? Really? probably take Sermon off as well at 71%. Yeah. He's having a good... But... Probably yeah, too. bring in Prutton is that box to box. To be fair, I've got a deep line playmaker and a box to box player, and I think it works really well both of those two together. I think yeah. it allows the kind of energy for the team, but still allows a bit of creativity as well. So, yeah, yeah, it's the Crystal Palace side looking really tired as well. Look how many you know sixties they're in. Ben Watson, central midfielder. Wait, where's this? There. Ben Watson, central midfielder. You're right. Yeah, there you go. Oh, knowledge. <laughs> There you go, yeah, I've been at Crystal Palace for this bit. Um, but yeah, there we go. Uh, we've got a couple seconds left of the game, and there we go. 4-0 decimation there, Mikey. I mean, what else can we say about that? That's I'm going to passionately say I'm very happy with the result and the way you played, because I am, really. What a what result, really. Is that Does that put us top of the league? Let's have a look. I'll do it quick press. Indeed. So there you can see that we are still top of the league. Norwich and Cardiff both played, but goal difference keeps us top of the table. Same leveled with Cardiff, really. So we're in a really good position. Like I said, we're going to go to uh, next game is the League Cup, but we'll miss that and we'll go straight to Stoke, who are struggling at the bottom. So hopefully, in, them in 21st, we can try and take advantage and get a, a, uh, a good win, hopefully. So as you can see, that's the result of the oval game. A 5-2 decimation, I think, is the best way to put it. If you have a look, Leon Best got a couple, Prutton got one. It was a... Uh, a dominant display, really. Um, but you, you uh, mentioned a good idea, Mikey, about um, Bale, if you don't mind explaining yes. it for him. Uh, well, because of um, Bale's sort of uh, ability on the on the game, he's, he's very, very good. Yeah, just look at that, some uh, of those stuff. So you might as well try and move him further up the pitch. He's already nearly trained as a... Well, he's sort of trained as a left winger, so you can yeah. train him as a left okay. midfielder. So that's development... That's Training. Oh, development... Training, yeah, there we go. And then, and then position, role, duty. You do left, midfielder left. Yeah, and I've got them as wingers. On, wingers on winger attack. I think so, yeah, there we go. Okay, you, cool. You actually look at those highlight stats. Yeah, yeah. The world, okay, so. cool. Match day, Stoke versus Southampton. Ricardo Fuller suspended. Oh, yeah. So he's not going to be playing against his old club. No, no, that's true. Stoke coming into it in woeful form. In woeful form, yeah, not great against Tony Pulis. In the 18th, aren't they? 18th, yeah. Uh, I should show we got um, Newcastle in the uh, third 
third round of the draw, and who was the people? Like, there was a couple in there that are names you. Oba Femi Martin's I mean, in you there. Look at the top three. James Milner's Mark in there. Martin, yeah. Damien Duff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Scott Park is in there as well. God, Michael Owen looks good, doesn't he? God, jeez. Um, but okay, yes, yeah, so that 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 will be quite. You stop it. Um, that's the yeah. lineup we pulled up for the uh, Yeovil game, but we will change it back to a deep line playmaker and a box to box midfielder on support. But yeah, so how do we want to line this one up then, Mike? I think you just go back to the same eleven that started against Palace. Oh, thought. that's testing my memory. We'll have to okay. jump cut so, so I can get it. So this is the winning eleven that's been doing well so far. So we might as well stick with them, right, Mike? If it if it's not broken, yeah. why fix it, right? Okay, and away we go. It's live, as that commentator says. I can't, what's his name? I don't know. The, the guy that says it and it's live. What's it? Um... Yeah, I, I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I can't think of it. That's terrible, isn't it? A highlight for Stoke here is they've got a possession on the ball as it's switched out to left, and. Um, Higginbotham, Higginbotham, Higginbotham. You are really struggling with your pronunciation. <laughs> I have. There we go. Dyer picking up the ball here as he goes line, but it looks like Stoke are going to collect it. And uh, ex, ex Saint Danny Higginbotham. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Chadwick picks it up on the right, uh, puts it across. Finds who's that Duffy, but I think he has dispossesses, puts it out left to Raziak, who looks like he's going to drive at that box. Misses the challenge, he's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper now, and puts it away. Lovely finish there, and I think you said Raziak is probably one of the best strikers we've got in the side, isn't he, Mike? Would you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. He is a very, very good striker. Yeah, and we've we've limited Stoke to not even a shot so far, so it's looking good. I think I've... Not bad stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we found a, a decent little formula here for the team. Just edging into half time now. It looks like it's going to go 1 0 into the half. Looking all right so far. Quick team talk and we'll get ready for the second. Stoke with a little bit of possession on here as they look like they're just playing it in the middle. Spread it out wide and Higginbottom collects it on that left. Long ball into the middle. Beard wins the header. Goes back out to Tweeney, is it? It goes down the left and it. Uh, oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, it looks like Beard's <laughs> given away a penalty. And do we know who's taking it? Hof Hofkins? These pronunciations. Hofkins. And he, he misses it. Gets in. Misses. There we go. So it keeps it at 1 0. Poor penalty from him, really. Didn't even hit the target. Um, that's their first shot today with 55 minutes. When about you thinking of making substitutions, Michael? What sort of time do you reckon? DKS picks uh, up a little bit of a knock. Does that convince you? Svensson with a header. Do we. Uh, do we uh, not risk the injury of a DKS and take him off while we can? What's yeah, your... you might as well. Via far or Prutton. Uh, could bring could bring Prutton on as a box to box yeah. move Sermon as a deep line player. Yeah, just switch it. those two. Perfect. Look at that, they both love it. Brilliant. Yeah, Sermon's more adept to the deep yeah. line play. Yeah. Stoke with another highlight. Throw in to Chadwick. It's dropped out to the right as he cuts inside. Chadwick on the ball now, finds one man in the middle. Shot and uh back of the net. <laughs> Bangor is equalising the set uh, seventy second minute. Um what do I, do we need a change of tactic? What do you reckon, Mike? Uh, I, I don't know. We've dropped I mean, down into third position. Majority of the game, to be fair. Yeah. Dyer driving yeah. out wide, ball in the box, right Phillips, shot at the keeper. Maybe Phillip. swap right Phillips out. Um, Possibly he has a look. Has he had a bit of a yeah? He's had a bit of a quiet game, right Phillips. Leon Best has been firing so far. He played really well in the cup game. Do you reckon bring him on with a bit of uh? Yeah. Yeah. You bring best on to tell them to get creative as well. Okay. All right. I'll turn to great Sweeney. Uh, where where is get creative? There we go. As uh, it looks like Dye is collecting on the ball now, puts it long up to uh, well to no. a Stoke player pretty much. Uh, Raziak collecting on the ball now, drops it back to Svensson. Um, it look there we go going long again. It looks like we play a lot of long balls for a vertical tiki tack. It looks like we do play a lot of long balls, but. <laughs> Interesting interchange there between Scatchel and Duffy. Whiteley on the ball now. Drops it into, who's that, Russell. Plays it out wide left. Stoke actually getting on a bit of a ball now as it comes back out wide. Shot. Oh, God. Right. And there's the two. There's the second one. Yeah. <sighs> right. What do we change? I think something's got to change now, hasn't it? What do we do? 80 minutes. We've got Call 10 minutes. Once because we're losing time. No, no. <laughs> Is that. Oh, man. Close, really close from the header as Bangora takes it away now. Slide tackle's missed, and we really can't afford to let Stoke get into this game. They were, what, 18th, 19th in the league, and we should really be winning these yeah. ones. 
Protten, he's given away a free kick. Chris Baird's looking exhausted. Can we do anything about him? Can All right, we... good. Go with Paul's. Go with the tactics. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's... Yeah. Move Darren Scatchel up a little bit more. Darren Scatchel, they're maybe. moving up. Okay. Uh... It looks like a four triple two, but okay. Yeah. That's, that's quite good. Um... Change, change some of the possession stuff as well. Start working it into the box. Okay. Um, Stop playing that defence. Well, we're not playing that defence. What do you reckon? Yeah. Then? Stop the overlaps as well. Don't like the overlaps. The overlaps are coming off. Okay. Uh, we're playing slightly more direct. Do we want to go more direct? Or are you happy with how direct? No. We are? Okay. Get get Sermon off and bring VFR on too. Sermon off for VFR. We're making bold. Bold claims here, so Sermon coming off for VFR. Oh, it's just Sermon's time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. VFR on that deep line playmaker, you happy with that? Yeah. Okay, right, we'll confirm the changes. Last substitution, hopefully we can try and get something out of this game. As Stoke have another highlight, brilliant. <laughs> Goes into the box. Have they... Oh, no, they've made it 3-1. It's 3-1. <laughs> oh, I can't... <laughs> the game's so well. Yeah, I know. It... I can't believe that. We were dominating. I don't know. Any last-minute shouts that we can give them to try and get them to... Uh, I, I don't know, mate. <laughs> I'm going to sh ask them to show some passion, see if they, I, they look think... fired up. I, I We've got a last-minute this... highlight. Can we get anything from it? Looks like it's gone straight over and it's a highlight to Stoke. It looks like it's game, set, and match. What? Svensson's been sent off for what? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... <laughs> It's just going from bad to worse. I can't believe this. Well, we've got to, we've got to keep it. Yeah. Right. Uh, but I. Why was Spencer this is going to be good for goal difference? Why have you done? <laughs> Pratton picks it up. Yeah, uh, singular centre back. This is going to be interesting. I'm 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 going for a goal. I just want us to maintain our difference. Oh, God, uh, this is okay. That. There might have been a bad we, mistake to well, do one. <laughs> there we go. See, my master plan's coming off it. Uh, maybe not. Come on, Best. You've done nothing this game. As uh, Bangora turns, plays in Chadwick, shot, and it blazes oh. wide. Two minutes left to try and get something out of this game. Davis with the goal kick puts it to Lundervarm. And yeah, we've got all men up. We've got to, last couple of minutes, just try and get something. Let's try and do the unimaginable as Best drops it down to Prusson. We really need something here. Scatchel plays it. He's out on the left. He beats his man. He's dribbling into the middle. Across. Best. And we're in. Come on. 3-2. Yeah, Can, Can we do it? Can we do it? Get creative. <laughs> Get creative. Get creative. Come on. And the, oh, It's full time. The uh, the goal came a little bit too late there. So we we lose 3-2. I'm going to say that I'm disappointed. I think the man, uh, assistant manager is spot on in saying disappointed and our DKS is out for 11 days we'll leave him to the physio um, as birthday to forget that was my birthday Mikey 31st of August if anyone's watching you can send me a card <laughs> there we go Michael Svensson has been given an automatic one match ban after being sent on it, spent it on the event uh, advises oh, you that Svensson was probably justified shall we view it because I honestly yeah, don't know because I've got no idea what he did but... no neither okay so here we go we're watching it back here Skatchel puts it in Svensson I can't tell what he did. Well, he does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy got caught him with an elbow. Caught him with an elbow. So it looks like it's it. vicious play with Svensson and he's off. So they're saying it's probably justified. So we're not going to uh, appeal and find him a week's wages. But a little bit of a... Uh, Raziak played well, but a little bit of a, uh, a sour taste of the um, the video, Mike. Uh, I'm sorry about that. But I mean, there we go. I'm not about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be profitable. So that was Stoke. But we've got a couple games coming up. Um, what I might do is I might leave out the commentary one but we might do Luton and then finish with the uh, Newcastle one for the next game so if you do want to see the next one make sure you subscribe so you never miss the next video and make sure if you do enjoy, enjoy the content you like it as well it's been me Ollie I've also been joined with my assistant manager for today who has been Mikey thank you much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed make sure to drop a like and if you want to see more then press that subscribe button with the bell on to never miss an upload